Big thanks to Chris. I uh, just stole his radio out of his Forester simply so that way I can show you guys from start to finish of uh, upgrading from factory radio to new radio, which is this one. I'll put the link in the description so if you guys like it, you guys can pick it up yourselves as well as while you're down there, uh, if you want to hit that subscribe button, that'd be fucking awesome and greatly appreciate it. So uh, let's get to the install, right? Yeah, this is exactly how the radio came and this is uh, was not just swapped out uh, 30 seconds ago. Got that button, a couple of those. Um, you can put your phone. Um, all right, first things first to making your radio not suck. First, pop up your shifter trim piece. Kind of just pop that to the side, put your car in a little gear. It's also downpouring right now, but I'm committed to you guys, so uh, we're making a video. There's gonna be two screws. One, two, pop those out real quick. You can leave the shift boot on. Trust me, it's not worth pulling the knob off, especially when there's a thousand threads for no reason on the shift knob. Pull those two screws out, they're little Phillips heads, and then carefully pop this out. Pop this out with some trim poppers as you're working it out. Do not bend and snap it. You're gonna snap it there and there. Shut up! God, shh. So rude, sorry about that guys. And then you're gonna pull that out and now you're gonna have your hazard connector there, which is just a squeezy guy, as you can see. That's it. And then down here is for your HVAC controls. And then take that, there you go. Now this is also a good time, uh, this is the 05 and newer controls, the 04 was a split dial and a very like clunky mechanism, so you can replace that now as well. And now there's four screws, one, a two, a three, and a four. Pull those out and then we can pull the head unit out, Whoa! under your antenna, under this little black connector, and there's a white connector. Once you take all that out, there's going to be a, a ground if your radio has never been out. Just slide that out and then that's it. This is the head unit, the 1300 NEX model, CarPlay, DVD player and all that. So uh, yeah, as far as installing the head unit now, this that's my JDM lucky bell. You ring that for some luck. Now to install this in the factory location, your original radio has these side plates. So you're gonna zip off these four screws and just transplant them over. So what I like to do, put the radio side by side, how they're supposed to be. So this side up, this side up them down and then just swap the plates right over and then that's gonna allow us to mount it into the dash. After the side plates are on, just push all the wires to the back and then bloop, just test fit it real quick because if it doesn't line up then the next couple steps aren't even gonna matter. So once you can confirm that it's gonna fit and everything's good to go, then we can move on to the wiring aspect. Yay! Now there's two ways to do this. Either A, the malicious way and very intrusive, you can cut this connector off and then you match up your wires with this. Or you pick yourself up one of these guys. There's a pigtail adapter. This basically plugs into here and it gives you all your wires. And then from there, you can match those up with the harness. And they're just picking up a whole bunch of the crimp connectors from either Advance or AutoZone. Uh, you can get them from anywhere. Basically, we're just gonna undo all these little guys and replace them with crimps. and you're looking good. So do that for the entire harness and then we can go ahead and reinstall it as well. I'm gonna show you how to install the bypass module too. So in the description will be the wire diagram on how to wire and connect this up. Having this guy makes a world of difference. I'll put that in the description where you guys can get this pigtail. Uh, that way you don't have to cut your factory harness. Way less intrusive and easier to swap back and forth, especially if you ever sell the car. Now take your one end, Then you have your antenna wire. This is my extension to my iPhone cord as well as my 3.5 headphone jack that's located down below, as well as my cord for my backup camera, which video's coming soon. So all this stuff has to get connected to the back. That is where that big connector that we just wired up goes. The USB is where you can either plug a extension cord, which does come with it, into there, or an iPhone cord directly in there. I have my extension already ran, so that goes into there. Your headphone jack, same thing, you can get an extension or just run a long ass cord out so that way somebody can pass you the aux. That guy right there is your backup camera. It's a dark brown port, that's where you put the backup camera. Don't put it in the yellow, it's never gonna work. And just start connecting everything. Make sure you leave enough slack on this so that way you have some length to be able to plug everything in. This factory black, no longer used. Tuck them away, plug my backup camera, and plug the antenna in. Now everything else kinda just 
tuck away. Tuck and fold, tuck and fold. As you're just pushing everything on in there. I'm just gonna put one screw in real quick just to hold it in place so we can test it. Put the key in. And. Oh, dum ba ba bum ba. All right, we're making progress, making, making progress. So it's clearly working. So uh, let's put everything back together. Put your four screws back in there. The most important part. Then it's all reverse. Pull your two uh, HVAC controls in the bottom. Make sure you get your hazard button. It's now JDM. Then just stuff this guy back in there. Then it's two screws on the bottom again. And that's it. New Pioneer head unit installed. Turn your keys back on. Mm-hmm.